Hey, what is going on YouTube? Mike here from Team VRY and we are back with a new Pixel video. This is the Pixel 7a, Google's newest mid-range smartphone. And we finally have it with us here today. And we're gonna do a quick first impressions video so I can just give you guys a quick tour of what to expect if you ever plan on getting the device. With that said, let's get to the video. <music> All right, so the Google Pixel 7a takes over for the 6a from last year, and it comes with a nice set of upgrades compared to previous A series phones. And if you wanna check our other videos on the older Pixel A models, we do have some links in the description below. So what can you expect with the Pixel 7a? Well, let's take a look. All right, so it starts at $499 for buyers in the US, and it starts at 449 pounds for buyers here in the United Kingdom. Now, as I mentioned, it does get some neat upgrades, especially compared to the older A-series models. And of course, unboxing the phone, you do get a standard set of accessories in addition to the phone itself, such as your SIM eject tool, some paperwork, a USB-C charging cable, and a USB adapter. As with recent Pixel phones, we no longer get a charger with this one. So you're gonna have to buy one separately, or you can of course use your older charger. Now, in terms of design, the Pixel 7a borrows a lot from the Pixel 7. Obviously, it is meant to be a more affordable version of that device. You can see this in the new metallic camera bar that replaces the all-black visor from last year's Pixel 6a, which makes for a cleaner look in my opinion. Now, the front of the phone does come with Gorilla Glass 3, so unfortunately no Gorilla Glass 5 or 6 or Victus here. And the back of the phone is still made of glossy plastic, same as on the 6a now personally i would have preferred a matte finish because it makes it easier to handle with less fingerprints and less smudges of course you also get four different color variants for the 7a including your standard white and your standard black options although we do get new c and coral versions now handling it it does feel really light the display remains at 6.1 inches. It is still an OLED panel. It's still pretty much the same size as the 6A. Although when talking about the display, we have to take into account the upgrade that we got this year. So we finally have 90 Hertz refresh rate on the Pixel 7A, which is something that people have been looking for ever since Google announced the 6A. And yeah, it's pretty much a compact phone, like even the camera bar at the rear panel doesn't protrude that much. Now, of course, we do get some upgrades in terms of hardware as well. So inside the phone, you do have the Google Tensor G2, which is the same chip in the Pixel 7, the Pixel 7 Pro, and the other Google products that were announced just recently. One big performance boost is that the Pixel 7a does come with 8 gigs of RAM, which is another similarity with the base model Pixel 7. So it's a lot more RAM than we used to have on the older A series models, and it's a very much welcome upgrade. Of course, the storage stays at 120 gigs, which depending on your preference might be enough, at least for a moderate user. Now the phone runs on a moderately sized 4,385 milliamp hour battery, and it doesn't look like we've got an increased charging speeds this year because Google has kept it to 18 watts, which to be honest, is not really impressive. So if you're looking for faster charging speeds, like what you get on Poco or Xiaomi or Vivo or Oppo phones, then you are not gonna find it here. That's one big downside to the battery on this phone. And although we do get wireless charging, still it is a slow charging speed, whether you go wired or wireless. So that's something to keep in mind if you're planning on getting this device. But of course, as with all the other Pixel phones that we've covered on this channel, the biggest highlight of the Pixel 7a is the camera on the back. Now it comes with a 64 megapixel main camera, which outsizes the 50 megapixel sensors on the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro. And it's a massive improvement over the 12 megapixel sensor that we found on the Pixel 6a, which is basically the same sensor that we've seen on older Pixel phones. So yeah, this is a very nice upgrade. It allows for more light and better exposure in your photos. And of course it is paired with a 13 megapixel ultrawide camera. But yeah, I'll be sure to update you guys with some photo samples and video samples on this phone once we get to spend a bit more time with the Pixel 7a. Of course, in addition to this, we do get the usual suite of Google Photo software features like astrophotography, portrait mode, photo and blur, and of course, magic eraser. Video Max is out to 4K resolution and you can choose to film in either 60 or 30 frames per second, at least on the main camera. The display of the phone does house a 13 megapixel front-facing camera, which should handle selfies and video calls. 
of course we now get face unlock on this phone as well so yeah it's a pretty nice upgrade compared to the pixel 6a and yeah i'll be sure to update you guys with more videos on this phone of course this is just an initial hands-on video and so do give me a bit more time to spend with the device for the meantime you can check out our other pixel videos here on team vr y thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one